So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do API binding using Nbot with Binance. Okay. So basically open your Nbot application. Then here you can go to API key. I'm going to blur my API key. I basically already done my API key. So this is what you should see right here. You can use any of these exchanges. In this video, I'm going to show you Binance. The process I think is very similar with other exchanges. So you can follow the process. Now, before you do API key or before you do API binding, make sure you go to your Binance application. And when you go to future, if you go to wallet and future, or if you click on this future tab, okay, you will have quiz. If this is your first time opening futures, make sure you finish the quiz. All right, guys, make sure you finish the quiz, you take the quiz, and then you can do the API binding. Also, make sure you have funds inside your futures wallet. Uh, let's say you buy the USDT through peer-to-peer. -peer. You know, you can watch this video. I show you how to buy USDT. Uh, basically, it's in funding, right? You can basically transfer from funding to futures. If not, uh, you can transfer from spot to future. Press on transfer. So I can transfer. Uh, let's choose coin here. I will search for USDT. So I will transfer from spot to USDM futures, guys. Okay, USDM futures. This is the one, the second one. Okay, and then you can put the amount. Uh, basically, you can put again at least hundred dollar or two hundred dollar per coin you know it's better to you know get your feet wet first understand how the bot works and then if you are confident you can go higher if you want to because you know i see a lot of newbies watching my videos i need to show you the proper steps okay once you take the quiz you done that and then you already transfer from spot to futures you should have some money in your future step Okay, once you have that, now we're going to do API binding. So to do API binding, you can go to home. And then here you'll see more. Click on more. And make sure if this app is in a uh, pro mode, okay, you can click uh, this icon. Uh, make sure you are in pro mode, okay. If you don't see the settings, you are probably in the light mode. Make sure you are in the pro mode. Okay, again, if you want to do API binding with Nbot, to Binance, click on this more, scroll all the way down, you will see API management, click on that. So here you can create an API, here you can label it Nbot, just put Nbot here and then press create API. When I scroll down here, you can see I already have my Nbot. And I have a royal cube, right? It doesn't really actually matters, guys. You know, I use Nbot for futures and royal cube, I use it for spot. So these two are very different settings. Now, if you need a step by step guide, they actually have it also. If you click on FAQ here, and if you click on beginner's guide, you will see set up trading API, how to create API on Binance. You can click this. And it tells you the steps, guys. Okay, the step is the same that I just show you. Okay, you just basically put the name, create API, and then edit. Here you want to copy your API key. And then you can go back to Nbot. So when you click on the API key, you will see this. Okay, just paste the API key from Binance, uh, copy it, paste it to here, API key. And then you can see the secret key, you can paste the secret key as well. Now, if you see API is encrypted by AES and transmitted by asymmetric encryption when in use. So there is no need to worry about leakage and they cannot withdraw the money, guys. Okay, the money is safe inside Binance. Okay, once you copy your API key, uh, you can see at the bottom here. Now, this is very important. Okay, the enable reading is basically ticked by default. Now, spot and margin trading. If you want to spot trading, uh, you can try it. Okay, I have personally never tried, guys. You know, because I use Royal Key for the spot trading, I 
I'm afraid that they might, you know, crash. But actually, I think it shouldn't be a problem because if you play different coins, let's say Royal Cube play with coin A and then uh, Enbot play with coin B, I think they shouldn't have an issue. But I never try it. You can try it yourself. But I actually just turn on the enable futures. Okay, I don't take the enable spot and margin trading. I just take the futures because I just use Enbot for the futures. So there's only two things that I take, which is enable readings and enable futures. Okay, these are the two things that are check mark for me. Now the access it says unrestricted. Okay, it's less secure. I think it's still safe, guys. No need to worry about it. And uh, you should see your secret key again, paste it to there, and then you can save it. Make sure to save it, guys. You know, once you're done, make sure you go back and save it. Okay, go back and save it. It will later ask you for confirmation, it will ask you for phone number and stuff. Uh, make sure you put in the confirmation. Once done, uh, you are ready for trading, guys. Okay, you are ready for trading. 